Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Hamming network in soft computing with the help of a simple solved example. In this case, we need to construct a Hamming network to cluster the four vectors into two clusters. Because we want to cluster the four vectors into two clusters, we need uh, two exemplar vectors. Hence, uh, E1 and E2 are given to us. And uh, four input vectors should be given. Uh, they are given as x1, x2, x3 and x4 here. So, given these uh, four input vectors, we want to cluster these four uh, input vectors into two clusters here. This is how the Hamming network looks like. Each of these uh, input vectors uh, contains four components. So, that's the reason I have taken uh, four input nodes here. And we want to group them into two clusters. That's the reason I have taken Y1 and Y2 as the two nodes in this case. Each of these input nodes are uh, fully connected to these. Uh, the cluster nodes. The weight from x1 to y1 is nothing but uh, w11. Weight from x1 to y2 is nothing but w12. Similarly, weight from x2 to y1 is uh, w21. Weight from x2 to y2 is w22, and so on. Now, uh, in this case, uh, the number of components in input vector uh, is 4. So, that's the reason the value of n is equal to 4 here. And the number of uh, exemplar vectors are 2. So, that's the reason the value of m is equal to 2. So, first what we do is uh, we will uh, calculate the bias. Uh, the bias is always uh, equivalent to n by 2 that is nothing but the number of uh, components in the input vector divided by 2. So, in this case uh, as said earlier there are uh, 4 components are there in the input vector. So, 4 divided by 2 that is equivalent to 2. 2 is the bias in this case. So, b1 is equivalent to b2 is equivalent to 2 here. Similarly, we need to uh, calculate the initial weights. The initial weights are always equal to half of the exemplar uh, vectors here. So, in this case, we have been given two exemplar vectors. So, we need to calculate the half of those uh, exemplar vectors that is nothing but the initial weights. So, Wij is equal to Eij divided by 2 in this case. So, E1 of 2, E2 of 2 that is how you can uh, set the matrix in this case. So, in this case, Wij is equal to W11 is equal to this one, w12 is equal to this one, w21, w22, w31, w32, w41, w42. Now, how to calculate these values? It can be calculated something like this. So, this column is with respect to first exemplar vector, this column is with respect to second exemplar vector. Now, how to calculate this 0.5? 0.5 is nothing but this is the first uh, component in the exemplar uh, vector that is 1. 1 divided by 2, which is equivalent to how much? 0.5. Similarly, second component is minus 1. So, minus 1 divided by 2 is equivalent to minus 0.5 and so on. Similarly, for the second exemplar vector, the first component is minus 1. So, minus 1 divided by 2 is equivalent to minus 0.5. Second one is minus 1. So, minus 1 divided by 0.2 uh, is equivalent to minus 0.5 and so on. Now, we have uh, set the bias as well as we have calculated the initial uh, uh, weight matrix. Now, the next thing is what? We need to apply the Hamming uh, network algorithm and then uh, we need to group uh, each of those uh, four input vectors into one of those clusters here. So, we will start with the first uh, input vector x1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 here. Now, what we need to do here? We need to calculate the net input at y1 and net input at y2 and then we need to compare, uh, we need to assign these uh, net input to this uh, MaxNet network. MaxNet will always select the one activation which is having the maximum value. So, based on that we can assign these uh, uh, input vector to one of the clusters here. So, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the net input. To calculate the net input we can use this equation y in 1 that is nothing but the net input at y1 which is equal to B1 that is the bias plus summation of Xi Wi1 for all i here. Now, you can see here uh, I have taken a Wi1. The meaning is I am calculating the net input at Y1 here. So, it will be always equal to W. Uh, I can take uh, the different possible values. In this case, four components are there. So, I can be in the range of 1 to 4 here. So, that is the reason it will become X1 that is nothing but uh, minus 1, x2 that is nothing but minus 1, x3 that is nothing but 1, x4 that is nothing but minus 1 here. w is uh, w11, 21, 31, 41 here. What is 11? 11 is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is 
uh, 2-1 is nothing but minus 0.5, 3-1 is minus 0.5, 4-1 is minus 0.5 in this case. So, once you do this uh, uh, multiplication and once you take the summation uh, and then once you add it to the bias, you will be getting the net input here. So, that can be done with a matrix multiplication, uh, something like this. So, bias is always equal to 2 that we have already calculated in the previous slide. This xi, xi is nothing but what? Uh, x1, x2, x3, x4. For the first input vector, this is the x, uh, xi, so that I will write it here, multiplied by wi1. wi1 is nothing but what? This column. So, that is what I have written here. And once you take the multiplication, how the multiplication will be done? Rho is multiplied to the column. So, minus 1 multiplied by 0 0.5, it is minus 0 0.5. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 0 0.5, it will become plus uh, 0.5. 1 multiplied by minus 0 0.5, again minus 0 0.5 here. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 0 0.5, it will be plus 0 0.5. And all of these will get cancelled. What is the value left over here? 2 is the only value left here. So, this is the net input at y1 here. So, net input at y1 is 2. Similarly, we need to calculate the net input at y2 here. So, what will be the change in this case? y in 2 will be the only change. Wherever there is a 1 we have taken, we have to take 2 here. That is nothing but y in 2 is equal to b2. In the previous case, we have taken b1 plus summation of xi wi2. That is nothing but second column we are talking over here. That is the second column of weight matrix. And input will not change. Input will be same here. Only thing is the uh, weight matrix column, we need to consider this one. That is the weight with respect to second exemplar vector here. Again, we have to do the same matrix multiplication. And once you solve it, you will get 2 as the value in this case. The net input at y2 is again what? 2 here. So, the net input at y1 is 2. Net input at y2 is 2. We will set these as the activation values of max net here. That is nothing but y1 of 0 is equal to 2. That is the activation of uh, max net for the first node is 2, for the second node is also 2 here. Once you compare these two things, both of them are having the same value. That is the reason this input vector, that is the first input vector, will be assigned to any of these uh, uh, exemplar vectors. Either you can assign it to y1 or we can assign it to y2 here. That is one possibility. But usually what we do is uh, we will assign it to the smallest index. Uh, that will best match to the exemplar here. Now, in this case, it will match to y1 as well as y2. So, we will assign it to y1 here. So, that is the usual thing we do, but it is not hard and fast tool. We can assign it to either y1 or it can be assigned to y2 also here. So, after the uh, first input, the first uh, input vector is assigned to, uh, uh, we can say that y1 here. Now, we will consider the second input vector. This is the second input vector. Again, what we need to do? We need to calculate the net input at y1. And then we need to calculate the net input at y2 here. To calculate the net input at y1, the same equation here. Uh, only change is what? This uh, input vector will change. In the first case, we need to consider this column because uh, we are considering y1, which is nothing but first exemplar vector here. So, you can see here, this is the input multiplied by this column, uh, which is equal to 1 in this case. So, the net input at y1 is 1. Similarly, we have to calculate the net input at y2 here. The only change is what? Wherever there is 1, we need to write 2 in this case. So, y in 2 is equal to b2 plus summation of xi w i2 for all possible values of i. Again, i can take anything in the range of 1 to 4 because each uh, input vector contains 4 components here. Again, the input will not change. Only thing is, we need to take the second com uh, column of this uh, weight vector. Once you do the calculation, you will get 3 here. So, the net input at y1 is 1, net input at y2 is equal to 3 here. We will assign it to the activations of uh, max net. y1 of 0 is equal to 1, uh, y2 of 0 is equal to 3 here. You can see that is what I have written. Now, once you compare these two things, in the max net, what actually happens is the one node which is having the maximum activation that will be considered. So, between these two, which is considered? y2 will be considered. Because of that, Second input vector will be assigned to whom? It will be assigned to second uh, exemplar uh, vector or you can say that the y2 cluster in this case. Now, we will go with the third input vector that is x3. Again, the same procedure we need to follow. We need to calculate the net input. To calculate the net input with respect to y in 1, we need to consider this column. That is what I have considered here. And then, uh, uh, once you solve it, you will be getting 2 here. 
for the second uh, uh, cluster of the exemplar vector that is y2 we have to consider y into is equal to b2 plus summation of xi wi2 here we need to consider second column here once you do it uh, do the calculation you will be getting 4 here for the first one y1 the net input is 2 for y2 the net input is 4 here now uh, we need to set the y1 of 0 is equal to 2 y2 of 0 is equal to 4 between these two y2 of 0 is more because of that the third input vector will be assigned to the second exemplar because it matches perfectly or it will match more than the first one here now we will consider the fourth uh, input vector that is x4 here uh, again the same procedure we need to follow we need to calculate the net input at uh, y1 and then we need to calculate net calculate the net input at uh, y2 here so in this case uh, net input at uh, y1 is equal to 3 uh, with the same process what we have followed with respect to, to first uh, three input vector we got 3 here net input at y2 is equal to 1 we got now the net input at uh, y1 is equal to 3 that's the reason uh, y1 of 0 is equal to 3 net input at uh, y2 is equal to 1 that's the reason uh, y2 of 0 is equal to 1 in this case now if you see the uh, two activations uh, y1 of uh, 0 is more compared to y1 of y2 of 0 because of that uh, the fourth input vector will be assigned to the first exemplar vector or you can say that the first cluster in this case so this is the procedure uh, we need to follow in a hamming network uh, to group the given input vectors into one of the clusters. I hope the concept of uh, Hamming network is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.